Can you explain why Lally got nerfed, although she is not very popular? Uh, because we don't just balance the game for pro play. So the question was, why did you nerf Alawi if she's not in high laner or pro? And the answer is, we don't just balance the game for pro, we balance the game for everybody. And she was OP in solo queue. So, um, sometimes there's this concept that, like, the only thing that matters is high MMR. So, like, why would you nerf a character unless they're OP in high MMR? Because the game's competitive, so shouldn't you just balance around the best players in the game? And the answer to that is, well, it makes sense at face value. If you only balance around the best players in the game, you've made a game that very likely feels terrible to play in silver. And if your game doesn't have silver players, it won't have anybody else. Because the average player will fall out of the game, the game's popularity will go down quite a bit, and then like, then your game just dies. Like, it's really, really important that the average player enjoy your game. Um, even if it means balancing around some things that aren't optimal. And so the way we balance is we balance for everyone. We balance for pro, we balance for high MMR, and we balance for low MMR. We need to make sure that low MMR players enjoy the game, and we need to make sure that pro players enjoy the game, and we need to make sure that elite players join the game, uh, enjoy the game, enjoy the game. It all matters. And so we're gonna nerf Azir for pro play, even though 99% of league players are probably gonna suffer if we do that, because 99% of league players aren't very good at Azir and can't play him, but we're gonna nerf him for pro play. And then on the flip side, we're gonna nerf Briar for silver, because 75% of league players can't handle this champion. 75% of league players don't really know how to play against Briar. And so, uh, does, is she kind of bad in high MMR? Yes, she is. Does that mean that if you get good at the game, you can beat her? The answer is yes. If you get good at the game, you can beat Briar. But at the end of the day, we need to make sure that for, you know, the lower MMRs league, our like half to 75% of our player base, that they're having a good time. And this character has been a character since her release that kind of terrorizes those players. And it's good that we do both. It's good that we nerf Briar for Silver, and it's good that we nerf Azir for Challenger. It's really important we do both, because they both need to be enjoyable. So yeah, if you're wondering why we nerfed Alawi, it's because it doesn't matter that Alawi is not played in pro. We need to balance her for solo queue, and she was legitimately overpowered in solo queue, so she needed a nerf. That's that's how it tends to go. Um, is that why we keep Jet Zed slightly weak? Yes, Zed is kept weaker than he could be, because he is generally the most frustrating champion in League of Legends for the average player. Um, there are sometimes characters who are more frustrating. Sometimes Yasuo is more frustrating. Sometimes Yone is more frustrating. But on average, throughout his entire existence, Zed tends to be one of the highest frustration champions in League of Legends for the average player. Which means that if we want the game to be good for everyone, Zed generally has to be slightly weaker than he'd have to be if he wasn't as frustrating. That's how it has to go. That's how it goes. This does not mean that Zed needs to be trash. It does not mean that we won't buff Zed. But it does mean that if Zed was, say, balanced at 50% win rate, he'd probably need to be at 49 instead. If he was balanced at 52% win rate, he'd probably have to be at 51 instead. He has to generally just be weaker than he normally would be to account for the fact that he is an incredibly frustrating character to play against. And the follow-up to this is also always like, well, Riot, w August, why don't you rework Zed? If he's so frustrating, why don't you just fix him? And the answer to this is twofold. Number one, just because he's frustrating doesn't mean that he can't exist in the game. Um, we have a max frustration we're willing to accept, but there's a lot of characters who have 20% ban rates, and we're okay with that. That's not a problem. Like, if an assassin's viable, they're probably gonna be banned. That's how it goes. So just because a character gets banned doesn't mean it should be reworked. And secondarily, players love Zed. I just said that players are frustrated by Zed, but there's a lot of players who love playing him. He is one of our better performing champions. He's one of our more beloved champions. And so it wouldn't make much sense to rework the character, even if it meant he could be at higher win rates, because despite the fact that he has to be slightly weak, he still has a lot of players who adore him and love playing him. So reworking Zed wouldn't really make sense. So instead, we just balance him for frustration, and that tends to mean that he has to be slightly weak. So, yeah, that's kind of the idea, though. You should just have infinite time and resources to perfectly balance everything. I agree. So true, King. What is Riot doing? Honestly. SMH, my head.